Is Virginia not one of the prettiest places you've ever seen? This is amazing, you guys. A little bit different than the mountains. So we got these huge rolling hills. Just gorgeous, thought you'd enjoy. Check out this guy. Just chilling in there. Got you a big snake and a stump. Looks like another gardener. He's chilling in there. Check me out. Come dine with me. I'm in Bland, Virginia. I got some ranch dressing, some chicken strips. There's only like a buck ninety-nine for the strips, and they're still cold, which is great because it's burning up outside. And uh, we got a lot of pop tarts, some chocolates, cookies, Snickers, banana, and little Debbie's in there. So this will get me through the next day or two. Are you guys ready for this? Let's do this. Oh, 600 miles down the drain. All right, I'm at Dismal Falls, uh, right here in Virginia. Check him out, he's crossing so he doesn't fall. Uh, really cool waterfall. Um, found a nice little spot you can jump off right down there. I don't know if you can hear me, but I ended up losing my sunglasses down there. Um, I have to actually Nero here because I have some gear being brought to me um, by my family member Keith. Uh, and so she's coming from Florida to hook me up with my um, bug, bug net for my hammock. So I'm incredibly grateful to have that because I've been getting lit up. Not fun. All right, so far I've seen five water moxins here. I'm out looking for him. See if you can see where he's at. He's right in the middle of the screen. See water moxins, man. These bunch of stinky hikers. You're all wet. That's Finland. All right, YouTube homies. On step, got himself a haircut. What else did I do? Massage. Been off the trail for three days. Um. Is three days rain so one of my tactics is when I know there's a big front of nasty weather um, I'll try getting off the trail because I'm not one to hang out and hike in the rain for four days um, I'm just not not how I roll but um, we're right near the Parisburg area and uh, my knees are hurting but I'll talk to you later. Wanted to share two views with you um, versus just how small the pack's getting. Got a little spot for my phone, as well as for the blade and my water bottle. And this is what the back side looks like it. I figured it'd be kind of cool to put it on the film. So that's it next to your shoe. Kind of small. Um, been getting a lot of good compliments. Been like, dude, I'm envious of your pack. It's nice and small. And I'm like, yeah, I know. It's the way I like it. And then I wanted to show you guys this view. Um, so right now you are looking straight northbound. Uh, it's really gorgeous. That's where we're heading. Looks like somebody else is doing their through hike. So here I am trying to navigate on the uh, Appalachian Trail. <laughs> you can see it's pretty flooded. And I um, was fixing to make my next step because I'm stepping on all these stumps. And then I see this guy. I don't know if you can see him. He blends in really good. Um, looks like another water snake. See if I can't get him off the trail. Oh man, he's not going to move for me. Come on, bud. Go on. He's probably trying to stay warm too. Um, but I did some studying. Yo, 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 YouTube. Um, I'm drained. Uh, almost done with a 19 mile day. Um, 
And today is actually May, April, May 20th, which is my two month trail anniversary. Super amped about that. Um, so I've been on the trail for a total of two months. I'm feeling pretty good, I would say emotionally, probably like a 7 out of a 10. I have my moments for sure, and I um, um, feel worn out, definitely towards the end of bigger days, and um, pretty blue whenever it rains, because I'm sogging through all that, and so we finally have some decent weather today which is really helpful um, physically I would say probably about a seven and a half out of ten um, still have some aches and pains at times and then sometimes I'm perfectly fine um, energy wise doing really well as long as I have fuel uh, being snacks um, sleeps incredibly solid so that's really good and um, I think that's pretty much it guys so Anyways, thanks for tuning in. Hey guys. So, uh, you know, started rolling at like 6 this morning. Didn't get rained on, stayed in a shelter all by myself. It was super cool. Um, and there's no rain right now, at least for the next six hours, probably. And so I'm like, yes, gonna have dry shoes, right? Um, this is like one of the few times of this entire trip that I have um, not had any blisters. So I'm pretty stoked about that. I'm like, all right, I'm learning, learning what it takes not to get blisters, taking really good care of my feet. Oh, sorry. There's a, like a fly on me. Anyways, um, so I was off to a good start. And then I get to all of this meadow. And sure enough... Guess whose feet become soaked? Mine do. So, I don't know. I'm going to probably stop as soon as I feel like a hot spot or a blister start to form. And um, what will I do after that? Let my shoes dry out, put on some dry socks, and rock on. But it's hilarious because it's like, it's not one thing, it's another thing. Not sure if you can see it. But it comes with indoor plumbing, heating and cooling. There should be like a critter in here ready to get me. Got your old school. I'm guessing it's more of a barn than a cabin. Yeah, definitely a barn. Cool. This guy is just chilling on the rock over here, and I walked right up on him literally the biggest one yet <laughs> he is a monster Ugh. it's a whole family of the weird little lizards there's one there's two and then there's three Legit box turtle. Dude, I feel your struggle. This hill is intense. Give you a little helping hand. Hey guys, I'm a turtle. Alright, buddy. Good luck. close to the 700 mile mark and I wanted to show you the Audie Murphy monument um, that was erected years ago but Audie Murphy was the most highly decorated World War II vet in his time so dude was quite the hero quite the American I want to pay my respects forget everything that I said 
about Virginia being the land of easy. Um, I've done like 17 miles today and I'm absolutely exhausted. Um, climbed two mountains over over a thousand feet of elevation each time. This, I can show you how high up I am right now. Not sure if the camera's doing it justice or not. I'm drinking lots of electrolytes. Um, completely out of snacks now, so I know that's impacting me, but I am exhausted. Do you guys know anything to do on these humid, hot days? Let me know.